I wonder if they they have this music playing in the bridge. <laughs> the car's just listening like that. <laughs> someone comes in to someone comes in to interrupt, and he's like, "Hold on." Okay, I have criticised Wesley in the past about his costume choices. Mm -hmm. I feel I should say something about this. Mm -hmm. But I think that images do better than any words. It does look, isn't it? I'm not prepared to answer. Yet. See to their comforts. She said that in a very aggressive manner. See to their comforts. And then Riker's standing there and someone comes and grabs him by the arms. He's kind of like, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, see to my comforts. <laughs> Why don't you? You will remain here until summoned. I had a tricorder toy when I was little. What is a tricorder toy? It's what she has in her hand, but That's... it was just like a, a toy. You opened it and it had little lights. That's like a PKE meter. Yeah. Cool. I'm supposed to take readings. Now, did you, did you, when you had this reader in your hand, who did you imagine you were? Were you Tasha Yar or Troy or Data or Picard? Me. Okay. How boring. <laughs> <laughs> How creative. They've requested our assistance as soon as. The... Ah. Ah. Fucking Crusher fucked up this time. Rude. After the insubordination of the last episode, and then he snowballs Picard. Yeah. And look at Worf. He's fucking, he's seeing red. It's like, what is this? What is snow? Of all the people you could have hit with a snowball. Naturally. The door's open, you throw a snowball, you just happen to hit the captain. And Worf, the scary looking monster. <laughs> what if, what if they meant it? Like the door's open and Wes is like, Whoever nails the captain. So they both like, I alright. <laughs> <laughs> How does stimulation of the olfactory nerves affect the enjoyment of sex? That would have been funny if Data mentioned to Yar, like, when we had sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't understand the source of your misgivings, mistress, but we appreciate your faith in us. I like these episodes, by the way, mm -hmm. where there's a secret going on. We don't quite know the answer, mm -hmm. but there's some fuckery about Wesley and one of his friends have contracted some form of respiratory ailment. A respiratory ailment? Is it contained? I hope so. This is what happened to me, you don't practice social distancing. On a starship, no less. <laughs> Her face. Oh my god. Where do you start? This, this episode has costume issues. <laughs> <laughs> you would look great in that. I would look good in that. So good. He looks, he looks like Aladdin. Relax, we have much to discuss. Classic Riker. I'm starting to see what Riker's all about. And that man does not let an opportunity pass him by. No. Riker is hamming it up this episode. He is great. <laughs> In the interest of diplomatic relations, I'll remain here with Mr. Spiata while you conduct our search. Commander? You have your instructions. Damn, that's a great excuse. I'm gonna go and shag an in interest of <laughs> diplomatic relations. Fuck. <laughs> this seems like a prime directive, no, no. Oh, really? Well, sleeping with the head of state. Okay. It this... seems a little... I've been expecting you. Jesus, I thought that was Richard Dean Anderson. I, I was just going to say that looks like MacGyver. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> it's like, how's MacGyver going to get out of this one? <laughs> Do 
<laughs> oh legit. my god, that was, that was like the first That looked real That's, that's the, the worst thing you want to hear <laughs> The first, like on a phone call You phone someone, they answer and then you hear a Klingon sneezing on the other side I'm sorry I'm getting sick I would say to Worf, are you okay? Are you going to survive the night? He just looks at death's door I know. <laughs> like, Get this guy a cup of soup <laughs> you have to remind me to thank them when they come back for giving us this time. This is making me uncomfortable. Peace. <laughs> when we finally made it here. Uh. Dira just stands there beside the uh, the uh, fly swatter. <laughs> yeah. I want I want to hear <laughs> <laughs> big alien bugs. Uh, <laughs> you. They're gone. Shocking twist. <gasps> the execution of Mr. Ramsey and his followers may elevate them to the status of martyrs. You know, he's, he is a fuck boy, but he makes decisions. He's a good leader. Mm, he is. Coordinate set. Warp six on your mark, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Engage. What are your immediate thoughts? I enjoyed it. Me too. I like Riker centric episodes. It was kind of a fluffy episode. Mm, yeah. Like there wasn't they kinda of did the whole gender oh, I, I was whole e thing, but I was expecting them to make more of that. Yeah, they didn't go deep in it. Yeah, to be a bigger thing, but it was just, this is who we are, that's it. Don't really talk about it too much. I don't think it was a strong episode, mm -hmm. but it was fun, and I can't really blame it for being just fun. It was a good old adventure story. Yeah. And I would give it six angels out of one. <laughs> <laughs> I also give it six. I had fun watching it. It's probably not... I think I'll forget about it. Yeah. I'll forget about it's it. It's not strong, but it was okay to watch. No, yeah. It wasn't a slog. So, want to chat about something else? Sounds good. Nah. Yeah. <laughs>